President Trump is wrapping up his second st state visit to the United Kingdom. As CBS's Natalie Brand shows us, the trip shifted today from pomp and circumstance to economics. President Trump spent day two of his UK state visit in talks with Prime Minister Keir Starmer discussing trade and a new tech deal. The leaders signed a partnership focused on nuclear energy and artificial intelligence with several U.S. tech giants pledging billions of dollars in investments. This new accord is already helping spur a massive wave of private sector deals worth over $350 billion alone. We have huge new investments from NVIDIA, Enscale, OpenAI, Google, Salesforce and many more. The new deal builds on the trade agreement announced back in May. President Trump noting the U.K. was the first trading partner to broker a deal after he announced sweeping tariffs. We sort of wanted to make it the first because the, the bond is so strong. The leaders also discussed Russia's war on Ukraine as the U.S. and European allies try to put pressure on Russian President Vladimir Putin to end the fighting. He's let me down. He's really let me down. As for the war between Israel and Hamas, President Trump was asked about the prime minister's support recognizing a Palestinian state unless Israel met certain conditions. I have a disagreement with the prime minister on that score. Okay. One of our few disagreements, actually. While today focused on policy, royal pageantry dominated day one, culminating with a lavish state dinner attended by 160 guests, including administration officials, members of the president's family, and tech CEOs. It's beautiful. This morning, First Lady Melania Trump toured the Royal Library at Windsor Castle and spent time with Princess Kate and young scouts. Natalie Brand, CBS News, the White House.